Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. I found I found an interesting story because okay. I, it's something that, that kind of falls close to me. I've always wanted to do something like this, but um, I don't want to like do it the way this person tried to do it. Like I've talked about like, oh, like make a bunch of food and take it to homeless people and give it away, you know, like make a bunch of spaghetti dinners and put them in plastic thing. Like try to do something like kind, like have like a good heart about it. But then like the thing is like, oh, but I want to record it and put it on my YouTube channel. And you're like, at that point you're doing it for the wrong reasons, right? Like <sighs> a TikTok influencer yeah. in England yeah. tried to record herself buying people's groceries for them, yeah. like as, a, as an act of goodwill. Yeah. And, numerous people told her no and then she started like crying about like i was just trying to do something nice and nobody wants help out here and like whatever and like and it says some of the people were like you know honey you don't have to record everything to be to do a good deed or like people were like saying that kind of stuff to her she's like i just don't understand and like so so then it became about her because she was like, she was like, oh, I want to help these people oh my god they won't let me do this and then she's all upset and crying that no one would let her help them but she also was trying to do it in an affluent neighborhood. That's what I was going to say. Like, where did you go to try to do yeah, it? Yeah, because if you go to the hood and try to buy somebody's groceries, they're going to be like, hell yeah. Because, like, a lot of times if the they're hood. broke, you know what I mean? But you don't, you don't <laughs> a go. A lot of times they're broke. <laughs> I don't mean it like you know what I mean. If you go to Beverly Hills, you try to buy someone's Starbucks, you're like, get the hell out of here. But, uh -huh. like, you go, you go to the hood where there's homeless people and try to buy them Starbucks, they're going to be happy about it, right? Like, it's like if you're going to go out and try to do something good, why yeah. are you trying to do it to rich folks? In yeah, the first who place? don't need any help. Uh, I don't yeah, know. and then you're going to turn around about yourself about how how awful it is that no one will let you help them. Yeah, I, it, mm -hmm. yeah, Jonas. No matter what, there's always going to be people out here that just don't effing get it, man. Who can't read the room? Who have bad ideas, bad takes? Yeah, especially, especially those young, the young kid, like. I, you know what kills me is that most of the stuff that we see that goes viral is children doing it's dumb things. Children, school fights are thirteen yeah, and to children fourteen mean years under, old. Under twenty five. I saw. I mean, you see videos of like, oh, a bunch of hoodlums come in and rob a store. I'm like, they're twelve. <laughs> yes, twelve year olds do stupid shit like that. Yes, it happens. Yeah, you're that's not what wrong. twelve year olds do. And the only reason that it's even uh, the stuff is even prevalent is because it's like I don't know, like you said, the internet, social media again. We well, don't need to see every stupid thing a twelve year. I've done so many stupid things when I was 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. I've done so many stupid things. None of it's on the internet. Nope, none of it. No. And I'm kind of glad that none of the stuff I used to do was on the internet because I, I would have I would have done it too. Yeah, 100%. If, 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 if they would have had cell phones and TikTok when I was 16 years old, my ass would have been putting all the dumb... We would have been doing extra dumb stuff on the internet just to put it on the internet. Yo, fam, we used to sit around bored as fuck. <laughs> Constantly. Like, I guess we'll watch the same dvd again yeah play play the same <laughs> game for 36 hours but if we had little video cameras yeah. we'd be running around just causing trouble making exactly. making videos about it exactly trying to get rich trying to make money off of it yeah trying to get the brand off the ground yeah <laughs> yeah dude get the brand off the ground dog <laughs> that's what we'll be saying constantly that's it we'll be having meetings and stuff like get the brand off the ground <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. Fair that's enough. not what we would do. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I, that's, right? That's what we think, did anyway. That's our selling point. <laughs> I mean, that's how I feel right now. Let's get this brand off the ground. All right. Up. Let's get the brand off the ground. So I don't know, man. And there's a lot of really bad TikTok challenges out there, and they all like cause people to get hurt. And I don't stuff. think that it is a bad, uh, I don't think it's a bad move to videotape yourself doing that stuff, honestly. Like giving to the homeless and things like that? Yes. I don't. Why? Because, one, I feel like you're still doing the good deed, regardless. Okay, I mean, um, right, right. Whether no, nobody's going to know you did it unless you tell them. Granted, you don't necessarily need to tell them, and nobody necessarily needs to know. But I can't name one time that I have not watched one of those videos, and I haven't been inspired by it. 
it's inspired you're not, you're, you. You're not wrong. Yeah. It's inspired you. So it's not necessarily about you want to take the credit for it. It's more of an inspirational tool. So it is. it's like if, if I had not seen that guy clean up like a, a, a park by himself. Yeah, it took six hours out of my day to clean up this park. Look at all these bags of trash. I wouldn't be like, yo, I would do something like that. And even if just me saying subconsciously, yo, I would do something even like that. Even if you never go do it, it still puts the thought in your mind that if, maybe one day you went and did it. Exactly. If somebody came up to me and was like, hey, we're having it. Or if I saw it somewhere on like a flyer or something, maybe I would be more apt to do it. No, so you're, I, I mean, awareness is the same thing. It's the same thing as we were talking about diversity training and all that kind of. Mm -hmm. it, the awareness <laughs> is positive regardless. Mm -hmm. So Whether I don't think it's a bad move. I, honestly, I'm 100%. Turning it on about herself and how no one would let her do it is a bad move. That's a bad look. Yeah, that's a little nuts, Cr Making but... crying videos about how no one would let you help them is a bad <laughs> look. I don't know, man. It might be, uh, what do they call it? They call it rage bait. So a lot of times, the way you go viral is by having a completely crazy off take. And then just like, why would she even put the video out if it went so poorly, huh? Why would yeah, you so she could so she could cry, and make it about herself. Oh, and then people would get mad about like we're talking about it because, because she did. if she would have so just ridiculous. recorded the video, it went terribly. She went home and cried by herself. No one would know. No one would be talking about it. Exactly. I I saw it on the internet and was like, oh, that's interesting. Why is this chick all self absorbed about her own stuff when she's trying to buy people groceries? So what's going to get you more clicks is something that's going to piss you off. Not wrong. Tucker Carlson. Yeah. Something that's going to piss gonna, a lot of people off. You're going to turn into TNT Carlson? I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it. Turn it up. I would definitely sell out, you know, I would work for Fox News, CNN, NBC, uh, VH1, BET. Yeah. I Me mean, hit, hit us up. Telemundo. We, dude, we could have a, uh, we, we could have a uh, debate show That's we're like show. where you're on one side in the extreme and i'm extreme on the other side we just like yell at each other about our takes and like, i i would love that i i fear it may cause some real life animosity because <laughs> Uh, me, I, I, I have, I have super thick skin. I've been, I, I love being made fun of. I wish you would make fun of me more. I mean, I'm glad I you wish told you would. me that. I'm never gonna stop now. <laughs> every moment would. of every day. But I, it has to be good. Don't come at me with no weak shit. You gotta make it, make it good. Make I it, mean, make I it, make I will me admit, laugh. whenever I do make a good joke about you, you do always yes. be like, man, that's a good joke. Yeah, it's gotta be. I funny. feel like I got pretty <laughs> thick skin too, though. I don't like, I don't. For the most part, people make fun of me or pick on me. I'm not like, hey guys, stop it. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I do that, do I? I mean, you've known me a long time. Am, am I bad at that? I think I take most things in jest. Uh, no, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, in general, though. I mean, video, video games. You got. Like, you got really like. I like what you did with your hair. Like it looks good right now. It's a good hair. What? What's wrong with my hair? Nothing's what wrong with, with your hair. Wait a second. It was just second. That's literally the same. Is there, is there something wrong with my hair? What's who I live hold with? Hold on, hold on. Is there something wrong with my hair? I'm joking. I'm completely joking. <laughs> so. It was like that woman thinking give her a compliment. It's like, what the fuck? I don't always uh, look nice. Uh, yeah, man. I just. No, but it would. Why do you think it would cause animosity if we knew we were doing it for that reason? Like, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't. I would be arguing a point I necessarily didn't even agree with. Because. I, I don't know. I just I've watched, I watch a lot of uh, humans, <laughs> which okay. is another thing I came to like just like revelation of is like humans just watch other humans talk about humans. Yes, I mean I like going to a busy place and just watching people walk around and do stuff. So there's really like no difference between me and the president necessarily. Yeah, it's like we're the same person. Yeah, so. Well, anyways, that's about all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Go to thecrazynow.com for Jonas. We out.